because it had been 108 years of not hearing any woman's voice in that room. And now that we were finally there, uh, it was important that they got used to the sound of it. My name is Moya Dodd, I'm a former Matilda. I am a member of FIFA's Player Status Committee uh, and I'm also involved with a few NGOs, which are Common Goal, uh, that, which I chair, and uh, the Centre for Sport and Human Rights, which I'm a director of. I had a very lucky childhood. My dad was a fireman, so we lived in a fire station. Team sports I didn't find until later on, because being a fireman, my dad worked shifts and they didn't really have time to run us around to different team sports in a regular schedule. We finally got a television when I was 10 years old. I saw soccer on TV and I thought, wow. I mean, I was just captivated by this. One day I found the scores for a women's soccer league, which had six teams in all of Adelaide, a city of a million people. One of them, fortunately, was close enough that I could ride my bike. At age 13, I was playing in the all-age team because there was only one team. So. I didn't ever have the pleasure of playing kids football or underage football, it was just all everybody mixed in together. But I just loved playing. I played through uh, my school years, through my university years and, and eventually was chosen to play for the Matildas. I was always around football, I got an opportunity to join the board of Football Federation Australia and so the adventure began in international football governance. Uh, FIFA then created a position for a woman a few years later. I was co-opted to join the executive committee of FIFA. I had that belief that uh, it was possible to achieve change and I felt very much that that was what I was there to do. Of course that opportunity came around in ways that nobody quite anticipated. corruption crisis, hotel being raided, colleagues being taken away by law enforcement authorities and really FIFA erupting into a full-on crisis. It was a moment when significant change was suddenly achievable. Uh, we began a movement which we called Women in FIFA. And in the end we settled on really two things that were possible out of the reforms. One was an improvement in resourcing of the women's game, and the second was representation in decision making. Uh, I went into this room as one of three women on a committee of what was then 27, but it was clear that women's football was not run by women. I hadn't really expected what unfolded because uh, I had thought that working quietly from the inside would, be, would continue to be my MO. Many of the reasons why I had chosen to stay in the background on many issues, they kind of evaporated because the opportunity to create change was too compelling. So I began to advocate as publicly as I could for these reforms. I drafted uh, on behalf of the Women's Football Task Force, I drafted a submission and in the end came out with some um, substantial reforms to the statutes of FIFA. But it's important that we're able to be part of the dialogue and help shape the narrative, especially around our own game. It's important that we're heard not only in the room, but also outside it. And it might not be something that uh, you feel comes naturally to you, but you'd be surprised how far the image and the sound of a woman can reach. So, you know, we need to find the courage and the words and the moments in which to do that uh, effectively so that everyone can see and hear. I mean, the other thing is, we know we're right. <laughs> we know how good our game is. And we know, I know, that it's just a matter of time before the rest of the world catches on. I guess it's like watching a movie where you know it's gonna end well, but it, you know, you're just enjoying watching all the twists and turns and the villains get slayed along the way. And, and you know, even though you know how it's gonna end, and I do know how it's gonna end, it's gonna end phenomenally well. 
for women in sport. It is. And, you know, so far, it's just been a pleasure to watch all that happen, watch it unfold.